The horizontal force mechanism of the rotator cuff refers to the forces generated by the muscles and tendons of the rotator cuff that act in a horizontal plane, helping to stabilize and move the shoulder joint. Two main muscles contribute to this horizontal force mechanism, the subscapularis and the infraspinatus, along with the teres minor. The subscapularis is the largest and strongest muscle of the rotator cuff, this, which originates from the subscapular fossa of the scapula and inserts into the lesser tubercle of the humerus. Its primary function is internal rotation of the humerus. In the horizontal force mechanism, the subscapularis muscle generates an internally rotated force on the humeral head. On the other hand, the infraspinatus, assisted by the teres minor, originates from the infraspinous fossa of the scapula and inserts into the posterior greater tubercle of the humerus. Their primary function is external rotation of the humerus. In the horizontal force mechanism, these muscles generate an externally rotated force on the humeral head. The balanced interaction between these opposing forces plays a crucial role in stabilizing the glenohumeral joint and maintaining the humeral head centered within the glenoid cavity during shoulder movements. Horizontal force mechanism is essential for proper shoulder biomechanics and preventing various shoulder disorders, such as shoulder instability or coracoid impingement syndrome.